Hi, Ted Harris or Harris Office again. No, I'm bloody seeing the hand go through. Anyway, so basically there were some flyers I previously hung in town said, His Holiness is off your rocker, or off his rocker, we don't follow Jesus, and all that. That. Someone actually wrote under it, Superstitious Folklore, or Jesus. Especially when I think that's That's not what I want to talk about. Spot Reverend Billy and the church to stop shopping. I guess you heard by now the Grand Rumble Mall is probably closing and all that. Mall malls are closing. But especially with Reverend Billy and his ministry. In fact, watch this video I made. Because I can't. Billy, we shot too much. Because of death. His so-called ministry began about 10 years ago when Talent, then unemployed and living in Los Angeles, moved to New York City. He adopted preacher garb and hit the streets and stage as Reverend Billy, the high priest of the Church of Stop Shopping. Throw down the shopping however you can. While the evangelical look-alike is not ordained, he's on a crusade rooted in moral outrage at excessive consumption. We're addicted to shopping the way alcoholics are addicted to alcohol. We're stuffing a hole in our soul with things that we're purchasing. Get compliance. Talon warns of the coming shopocalypse, death by overconsumption. He says it looks a lot like the current economic crisis. We've just been told by our governments, we've been told by our religious institutions, our economic institutions, all the corporations, of course, have been telling us everything's going to be okay if you just shop until you drop. Talon says the real solution is to take a break from shopping and start building neighborhoods and relationships. Neighbors are recognizing each other, bursting into tears, dancing, laughing. To talk, to listen. I don't need a product right now. I don't need to buy a product to talk to you. Let's just do it. Save us from our credit cards. You don't have to buy a gift to give a gift. Talon puts those values to work in the 2007 documentary, What Would Jesus Buy? The film follows the church of Stop Shopping on a bus tour across the United States during Christmas season. En route, the troupe stages impromptu interventions in shopping malls, churches, at people's front doors, and in Disneyland. Let's slow down our consumption, amen! Talon and his choir are escorted out of Disneyland by the police. Talon is not a religious man, but he does have faith. We have to slow down our consumerism. And we have to help each other do it at a rate that is radically fast. We, we need to change. Change Hallelujah. Wake up, America! Are you people or are you sheeple? With his wisdom and wit, Talon as Reverend Billy plans to continue to spread the gospel of the Church of Stop Shopping. He hopes to make the world a better place, not only at Christmas time, but throughout the year. See what I mean? Especially I have to go through. Why well, I think that Reverend Billy's ministry is a pretty foolish ministry and all that. I mean, his intentions are noble, but basically, no, no buying diesel food, no buying food, no buying clothes. Maybe Americans buy a hunger and cut alone. As it says there, Jacob Marley, mankind should be my business. The common welfare should be my business. Charity, mercy, and kindness should be my business. The dealings of my trade were just a drop of water in comprehensive ocean my business. See what I mean? So on some things. So all these things I had to go through. In fact, uh, I want to speak to one guy who actually knows about uh, consumerism and all that and the evils that people are going through. Some things. Well, brother, do you think I'm laughing? Well, I'm not laughing. Especially with Reverend Billy and all that. Two girls nearly died because uh, so many people at the church have stopped shopping. You think I'm laughing? Well, I'm not laughing. Someone actually spray painted some superstitious folklore on one of the Ted Harrison flyers. Once he, I want the, the worker having matches caught and hung up by the Winnebago's. Once those, they're caught, they will. He or she will answer the FBI. It's had its twists and turns, but it ends here. It looted Satan, it looted me for the last time. Especially I had to go through. 
The law. The law is the superstitious those nincompoops. Especially I had to go through. Who? And so, we gotta hang ourselves, Reverend Billy. Um, thank you very much for um, Uncle Scurry. Pretty weird, huh? Well, things I had to go through. Anyway, this Uncle, uh, this is Ted Harris saying, have a good day.